people are so excited for the Notion API to be rolled out soon. But will they be satisfied when it becomes a reality? In this video, we will explore what are APIs? One size fits all. Are APIs important for you? Why are APIs important for Notion? Are there any unofficial API implementations? APIs in the context of Notion's competition. When are APIs really coming? Are people paying for APIs? Will you benefit? The API is an agent that establishes a connection to work together between two or more applications. API stands for Application Programmable Interface. In simple layman terms, if you go to the restaurant to order food, the waiter is the equivalent of an API. He interacts with you and the kitchen. And finally, the cashier to fulfill your needs. And of course, that of the restaurant. A real world Notion related example would be when you want Notion to add or modify Google Calendar information through a push or a pull. So APIs help you exchange information with other applications, authenticate you as the real user for security reasons, hide the complexity of the entire transaction. Examples could be how you set up Bluetooth or Wi-Fi in your computer or by adding widgets to extend the functionality, like adding weather to a to-do app, or voice assistants like Siri, Google, or Alexa. It's hard to find a service that doesn't have an API linked to it. APIs carry out different types of actions. Authenticate, create, read, update, replace or modify, and delete. Since the precision of these actions differ from app to app, you need much more than one API to do the job. API's effectiveness is measured by availability, speed, number of requests per second or error rate, and much, much more. And these become so critical to the customer experience. So you have different APIs that connect a website like Uber Eats to restaurants, your mobile to a service like Apple Music. Apple Music in turn is connected to record labels. Or take the example of your online travel agent who connects with multiple airlines to provide you with an airline ticket for the right date and of course at an affordable price. Take the example of Fantastical or Todoist which is integrated into your Google Calendar both ways. Since each service requires one or more APIs and each API could perform a few different services, as Notion you will need to build different APIs to suit that individual service. In this world of APIs, app integrators like Zapier, Integromat, Automate.io, and IFTTT can act as a tool to connect multiple apps between each other for a small transaction fee. So if Notion prioritized its API build towards these services like Zapier, it would in a sense drive the traffic towards a hub rather than to individual apps. Individuals in turn could use the Zapier type of service to build out their own integrations with the other endpoints. Are APIs important to you? Notion users are increasingly wanting to connect things inside of Notion with things outside of Notion. For example, if people are already using Todoist, they want to be able to connect Todoist automatically to a relevant project page in Notion and vice versa. Sometimes you want to be able to connect emails into Notion for a completely seamless experience. And the list goes on. In a sense, people want to blend familiarity with something new so that the transition to Notion is very smooth and they can compound Notion's use case for themselves. But across users, we are looking at hundreds or thousands of apps, which would imply hundreds or even thousands of APIs. Everybody wants an API to build an end-to-end -end software experience, both inside and outside of Notion. Notion has positioned itself as an all-in-one workspace. People are using Notion to solve problems and as a warehouse of information for the user. Notion has become popular for note taking as a wiki or a knowledge base and of course for task and project management. From the end of 2019, Notion has added more focus to companies to cater to in addition to individuals. To attract individuals and companies alike, such integration become the cornerstone for their success. For Notion, 
it also increases functionality by reducing complexity. As of now, there are a number of resources from around implementations involving Notion-PY and accessing tokens from Notion code. There is API documentation available to obtain API keys, API responses, API references, patching and filtering, which have been used by unofficial API developers to get around Notion's existing functionality. These implementations include Notion kits like TypeScript packages. Notion does not specifically approve of this, so it has to be done at your own risk. In the meanwhile, there are several ways in which you can embed information as widgets by using sites like Indify or extensions like Google Calendar, Weather, a Countdown Timer, etc. There are others like Notion Charts from Notion VIP, Chili Pepper, Reports for Notion, and much, much more. You can also integrate Notion into workflows like Alfred to automate several functions. Competitors to Notion include Evernote, Microsoft OneNote, Airtable, Trello, Asana, ClickUp, or Todoist. Evernote provides integration into Google Calendar, Asana, Dropbox, Gmail, Slack, Airtable, Pocket, Todoist, or Trello, amongst many, many others. Even newer apps like ClickUp add integrations into Slack, GitHub, Toggle, Google Drive, Dropbox, Outlook, Google Calendar, and even Amazon Alexa, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams. A fact to note here is that competition is also catching up with Notion's functionalities. So Notion is clearly behind and any further delay is likely to hamper existing and new customer relationships. So when are the APIs really coming? Notion's APIs are currently in private beta to cover to bug fixes, testing performance and reliabilities. Results will dictate of which of these features will make it to the public beta in time. Based on Notion HQ's announcement, the API public beta is likely to be launched around spring of 2021. That's March to May 31st in the US context. So one can expect the public launch to be around the summer of 2021. That's June to August. People will be willing to pay for APIs if they feel that it's worth it. In a sense, you are trying to serve your community with a price to pay. Several unofficial Notion integration supporters like Aption, Visidrop, Chartnerd, Indify, or Notion Metrics have sprung up with free and paid options. But if competition is providing these API services for free, it is unlikely that Notion would be able to charge a price. If Notion is able to pull off major APIs on its own, it will stand to benefit. If it points us constantly to Zapier, it might end up driving traffic or revenue to Zapier, but also to competition. Notion can't build all of the functionality. Notion needs to create partnerships to drive results for themselves. But will they be able to do enough in the short term? Are you excited about Notion's API offering? Do you think it would make a difference to you? Do comment below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you liked the video, consider sharing it with your friends. I also wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.